here we go it's time for another sprint zone this one's for 919 and i'm a little bummed i'd gone um paddle boarding a little sup and i took the camera and i got a little water in one of the lens covers didn't really notice it until after i made the video well as you can see it looks pretty bad but a poor video is probably better than no video at all so we'll let it stand there Special thanks to Scott for providing his GoPro video, which is in the upper right hand. That will allow us some clarity and things won't be so bad as I turn, after I turn the camera around as the other lens isn't so bad. But the party is now started and it is go time. And it's the normal lethargy. We can see strong men sitting back. Scott uh, looks like um, Mark back there. We had Curtis back there and looking forward. Looks like the new Mark got Greg. Looks like Wolfgang, Steve Highland from the OCR group has joined us. Greg and Byron, the big man, AKA B-Train, sometimes known as Byron Besserell up front, making things happen kind of early. So I'm sitting back here and life is okay. I'm looking at my 30 second power, which I have on the lower part of the screen. We've got Scott's 30 second power on the lower part of the screen, as well as our instantaneous power at the upper part of the screen. And it's okay. My power isn't crazy, but it's kind of early and my 30 second power is already 270, 280, which is a testament to B-Train being up front and how strong he is. And I need to make my way to the front here because I don't want to be caught back. Got Rick there. We got John, who I'll just call him a sandbagger now. It seems like Greg had a birthday ride and John and Greg were going, well, I'm tired. I did 65 miles. I don't know how my legs are going to feel. I don't want to do anything like earlier on when there was like really not much work to be done. But, you know, I understand it's all good, but please, you know, it's like the cry of the bike racer. I'm so weak. I'm not going to attack. I'm going to stick to my plan. Anyway, I shouldn't be picking on them. Anyway, B trains up front. My 30 second power is pretty high and I'm suffering. I want to be up here behind the big man so as not to be gapped off, but it's a double edged sword. The amount of power needed to stay up here is much greater. You know, looking at my 30 second power versus uh, Scott's 30 second power. And given that he's a bigger guy, we're talking, it looks like what, 50 watts or so, 30 second power lower. And, and looking now, he's got like 80 watts. I'm still at 200. So it is a huge advantage to be sitting back there. And for you people that think, you know, you're in the line and everybody has an equal draft, the numbers do not lie. In any case, B train has been sitting out there for the better part of a mile looking at the map we're getting to go around that uh that little corner close to dead man lake and that's about the mile point 27 miles an hour and we are just a ramming and a thumping and everybody's strung out steve highland looking pretty comfortable on that new pinarella mr lawyer looking pretty good Sporting the FCC team colors and looks really comfortable as he wipes the sweat from his brow. Everyone is strung out behind me and B train. And it's kind of a sight to behold. And, and normally I would put some more camera on B train, but it's actually kind of boring looking at his backside. And I like to take a look and see what's actually happening behind me, which there has been absolutely no movement whatsoever. Looking in the upper right, Scott has a good position, holding strong there, looking really good in the pack and his power still, look at the 30 second power difference. So I pull off here. I've had enough of being, you know, next to B train and Mr. Lawyer and Mr. Highland are going to the front with Mr. Sturgeon. And it looks like this might be a little bit of an attack. My instantaneous power, well over 300. And you can see B train just, out there must be doing close to 400 is not phased at all by this little move by john and steve got greg starting to struggle there but clearly the 65 miles a day before is not hurting him too much wolfgang looking strong in the blue and finally mr lurk comes off the front and mr sturgeon comes up there and it looks like mr highland must be pulling the train on this one 
and still my 30 second power 298 and i have been well above my meager ftp of 210 for a long time and i am really starting to hurt i want to be up here but i don't want to be up here and you can see everybody back there is having a much easier time you know if some of the weaker players are back there and no no insult to you ian but you're still in contention way back there and I'm certain you're not suffering as much as I am, and you're probably not putting out as much watch, wattage. Anyhow, looking up front, Mr. Highland, keeping everybody honest. Mr. Sturgeon, keeping everybody honest. And B-Train, getting the unneeded but well-deserved rest behind other big engines. Wolfgang, right there, looking strong. And at some point, it's not happening now, but he was ready to give up the ghost as he was ready to wave me through. And I was like, no moss. I didn't have anything to go with the big men. But as luck would have it, there was a lull, a lull in the action. And he was able to recover at least much better than I was. And now it seems like Eric going to the front and attack. And then it looks like maybe Curtis is going to go with him. Mr. Highland goes and it looks like it's a dangerous move off the front. We got Eric and Mr. Highland. And it looks like nobody is coming through the chase, but B-Train seems to be happy. My 30-second power, 294. This is pretty much, I am on the limit here. I am on the rivet. And I am not actually feeling that good. It looks like, as you can see, slight wind off our left shoulder. And if you are not on the wheel and getting shelter, it's a ton of work. It looks like what has happened here. We have somebody shelled from the front group. As it was too much, too much. It looks like that must have been Scott up there. I probably should have paid more attention to his camera as he goes and lets everybody go through. And I see yours truly in the upper right hand. I'm sitting on Mr. Lawyer's wheel, and many times I talk about people riding above their station. But in this case, it appears that I'm at fault here, riding above my station as being behind the big men. B train, Mr. Lawyer, I do not belong there. It's just too much for me. Looks like Curtis looking strong up there, having come through and having a little bit of a coattail ride for the longest time. Looks like a 30 second power is coming down a little bit, but not as much as I would like. And at this wattage, I know my heart rate's not coming down, but look at the power of the mighty B train. Strong and steady and bringing back bringing back those recalcitrants eric no match steve no match as b train not looking for for any sort of respite but the stamp is authority on the train as i have to say no moss too much for me can't do it nice look dean that looks good mark coming through the new guy who was way back here i'm not certain can't really see through the the water filled glass but we turn our attention to Scott's camera, crisp and clean in the right hand. And he is moving through behind Wolfgang. Looks like there, look, Greg has given up the ghost over there. But Wolfgang looking strong and has his second wind. Scott riding the coattail nicely and his 30 second wattage, a mere 255. But you saw his instantaneous wattage, 800 watts. Look at that, 700 watts as he goes by Mr. Sturgeon. Very impressive. Oh, that was me going by Mr. Sturgeon. Sorry. Anyway, looks like Mr. Highland up there. B-Train up there. And Scott has a most excellent wheel. But it is totally hotted up as his 30-second power, almost 400 watts. Everybody's going hard. Just a ramming and a thump. And this is the final selection. And the danger man goes to the front. Curtis gives it up as Mr. Lawyer makes a final push. And Scott being very patient, he's learned, very patient to sit on the wheel of Mr. Highland, a steady wheel, a wheel that will not relent, a wheel that will not let things go until it's the right time to pounce. Takes a little peek around, it is not the right time, emails will ride it until the last moment. Because there's no reason to stick your nose into the wind if there is no purpose. And now, a charge by Mr. Highland. Given up by John, almost to the top, almost to the top. And Mr. Highland pulls this one out. Very impressive on the new Penarella, representing for the OCR boys.
Yes. Well done. Wish I could have been there for that one. But special thanks once again to Scott for providing his GoPro footage. Hopefully next week I'll have clear lenses and things will be better. At least I was able to hold off some of the posse. As you can see, I wasn't caught until, well, I crested the hill and had already turned around. Well done, everyone. Well done. There's a nice look at Mr. Highland, the winner. It looks like nice job. Scott holding in there for a podium position. Everybody's getting strong. Good showing by Curtis there. Well done, everybody. Well done. That was pretty exciting. A testament to B-Train strength. Interesting how the Supers have, have changed the color of the, of the ride. Were he not there, I'd be saying something totally different. But I guess that's true if anybody's not there, except for the wheel suckers. Anyway, a good time was had by all. Peace out, everybody. Until next time.